All right, so now that we have created the uh, integration, let's go, and we're going to open this again. <coughs> I'm going to open Visual Studio because that's what we're going to work with the cube. We're going to create a cube. Uh, we're going to create a analysis services, and we are going to run this as an administrator. We're going to create a new project and we are going to type here analysis here and here it says services analysis multi-dimensional queue and data mining project that's what we're going to select we are going to call this um, global retail queue all right, make sure that you know where you're saving this and we're going to create. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> here is our user interface. If you don't have analysis, go to the extension, manage extension, type analysis. And then you should be able to install Microsoft Analysis Service Project. You should see I have a green here. You should just click and uh, install. All right. So here in the right, you have the Solution Explorer. Uh, in the left, you have the tools. And here we uh, have a few things that we need to do. In the other system integration, the source was in the bottom and was uh, you could connect to the server through the task or to the data flow task. Here we have a folder called source. So we are actually connected through the source here. We have views and cubes. So we're going to create a view for our data, a cube, and we're going to add the dimensions to that cube. All right. So let's start with the source. There is a few things that we're going to need. Actually, let me close this up because I'm going to need my server again. I don't want to be, I, I actually needed the server <clears throat> name and I did, I closed that. I'm just going to grab it. I'm not going to leave it open. I'm just going to grab the name of my server here. Because I'm going to need. Okay, first, this is a very important step. Next, so we are actually using <clears throat> this connection here. Oh, so you see, mine is for to another database, so we are going to delete it and we're going to click new because I need to connect to that global. So here, the client always the client. Okay. Here's the server, so I'm going to paste it. And here we're going to connect to that global retail DW. Okay, so make sure that you connect it here. To the correct one here, to the global retail. Okay, next <coughs> here, we the username is, you have to go to your C drive, users, and uh, my Monique, and get the username for the administrator. And let's hope that I am putting my correct password. <coughs> what password they asking? They're asking for the administrator password. Is the password, not the PIN number, the password from your Microsoft account. Next. Uh, okay, we're going to leave this other fault at the name. And here is my connection. All right, so here's my connection. If you need to change the password because you didn't you didn't do it right, you just double click, go to personal information, and you change your password there. Okay. Now we're going to add a view. We are going to use this. So next. And here, let's go and open this. I need the fact table. 
and I'm going to say add related tables. It's going to add all related tables, right? Next, I'm going to call this global retail underscore view. And I actually, I don't want spaces. Okay, perfect. And finish. So if you go here, your view, you can see your tables here. Perfect. <coughs> now we're going to add a queue. Next, uh, existing table. Next, suggest. So it's going because once you select the fact table, it actually uh, brings all the dimensions. Here, uh, source, I'm going to leave all of them. Next. Uh, next, and in here, I'm not going to call a view. Is This is our cube. All right, and finish. And here is my cube. Perfect. I'm going to close it up here. <clears throat> now I had to add my dimensions. I'm going to add these three dimensions, product, customer, and shipping. So product, here it is. I'm going to grab everything but the key because the key is already there. Hold shift, grab that, save, okay, and then close. You can only close when you uh, save it, okay? Now double click customer. Make sure that you grab everything but the customer key. I'm going to click the save button here. Okay. And close. And the last one is shipping. <clears throat> I'm going to save. And close. <clears throat> we need to run this. But before we run this, we need to double check one thing. Do you see here? the Global Retail Cube project, we're going to right click, select properties. And if you go to deployment, you see that it's set as a local host. So we are going to add our server there. It would not run, it will, it will not find it. It needs that server, okay? So now we have the server name. You have the username and password. You created a cube, you created the data source, and you created the, the added the dimensions. I'm going to get the cube. Once you open the cube, there is this little teeny tiny uh, arrow, uh, circle here that says, pro if you hover, it says process, we're going to click it. The only thing that can be wrong is my uh, user, uh, my password. fail and is the password is incorrect okay so my password is incorrect so i'm going to double click in the source and is okay okay so now i'm going to do it again because it was a different password <clears throat> So it was my password. Oh, I had to type it somewhere. I'm, I'm thinking. So it was su uh, successful. I created the group, the uh, cube. But like, well, you created, but how I know that you created? So let me close all of this. Uh, it was created. It was successful. And let's go double check if that was created. So I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to open the MSQL server manage studio here it needs to be as an administrator we're going to run analysis now let me minimize this okay you see this data engine a engine this is data services so in order to connect Oh, wait. In order to connect, you need to be in analysis service, but you need to be running this as an administrator. All right. So I got here. I got in. So let's go look at the database. Let's go look at the 
global retail cube, add the cube, add the measurements, and then here. So I'm going to right click, reports, standard reports, general. <clears throat> and I want to double check, and you see that is a MOLAP. I'll do another uh, session, the difference between OLAP, OLAP, and MOLAP is about how you connect to the database and the resources. And the process is connected. So now I can do the analysis part of my data. So this part is finished. The next part will connect it to the analysis.